Okay, else. here's something really, really good that uh, just happened, and it's right. a landmark breakthrough. Scientists cure a female HIV patient for the first time using stem cell technology. Oh, that's Dude, fucking so rad. Oh. Cells, yo. Fucking rad, bro. So She's cool. the first, like, confirmed, like, cured oh, HIV yeah. patient for that's stem cells. Crazy. That's crazy. So, so what about magic? Wait, uh, didn't he get cured of <laughs> HIV? <laughs> Can I tell you guys about the time that I thought I was uh, HIV positive? Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Person. Actually, <laughs> it's actually a funny story. Oh, cool. <laughs> Go figure. Right. Oh, good. Yeah, so um, I was experiencing this, like, um, th these, like, swellings on my face randomly. Oh. I think but at the time I turned, like, uh, I think I was, like, 30. And uh, all of a sudden, my both my cheeks swole up super uh big. And I had just flown into Florida, so I go to the hospital. I'm like, what's going on? Here? Like a hamster? Really, really big. Do so you have pictures there, by chance? I didn't feel like taking a picture. <laughs> uh, like when a dog bites a bee. You didn't vlog it, bro? No, I didn't. I was freaked out. So I go in, the doctor puts me on some like um, Benadryl and like whatever they can, like via IV. Yeah. And then um, I knock out and then I wake up and I'm like, oh, it must be done. No, it's even bigger. Oh. The doctor's right there. I get the shrug of the year. They're just oh like, God. I don't know what's going on. With the shrug. Oh my yeah, doctors God. be shrugging, bro. Doctors oh, be shrugging. shrugging. Yeah. Be shrugging. Yeah. 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 I don't know. No bedside oh, matter. Bro. So I find out. Bring in the fortune teller. It, the, the swelling goes down after like a week, and then it recurs like the next uh, like five days after. Is, it goes is a swelling cheek one of the symptoms of HIV? Uh, yeah, I mean your lymph node swelling. Oh, are, lymph they, are, are they on your cheek oh, yeah. though? It would, here, anywhere that you have glands, so uh, salivary glands, you know, like these right yeah. here, like anything glandular, swelling is like, it's a pretty big uh, symptom. But it wasn't me WebMD myself, it was me going to a specific doctor that they had recommended me to go to, to figure out what's going on with that. Uh, I went to this doctor, and, and this is kind of fucked up. So he's all, I don't know what it could be, but we're gonna do all the tests we can. It wasn't until he asked me, oh, so what do you do? I told him I was a dancer, and then he said it might be HIV. What? <laughs> what? What? What is he joke? probably thought dancers be dabbling with a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, yeah. Dancers be busting all He yeah. fucking said that to me. Yeah, but why would he tell, why would he break it to you like that? <laughs> because he probably thought he was a Chippendales dancer. Yeah, I haven't even done the test yet, and the doctor already goes, you know, it might be HIV. He looked at you up and down. Who the fuck? And he goes, you be That's fucking. That's not normal, right? How did you feel? How did you feel? I thought it was already dead. I was like, I have fucking AIDS. So like, I would, I, I would maybe be like, like maybe like you raise an eyebrow and you're like, mm, we're gonna do some tests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't <laughs> say HIV. He off the so show. chill and like it might be HIV. I and mean, then what? Did, what was your initial reaction inside? Did your I died. Drop? I died. I died oh. right there. Because I didn't expect that. I thought yeah. it was just like an allergic reaction, like my eating too many mangoes things. or some shit. No. So then he, he, I do the the test and it's like every possible physical test you can do to find out what's going on in your body. It's ball absolutely coffee. everything. All the blood work, everything. Oh, ball wow. coffee and all of the above. So then he goes, um, so we'll see the results in about 30 days. You're like, what? fuck you, doctor. And I'm like, I have 30 days to, to think Mold I- Mold this over. What doctor did you go to? Cause when I do the fucking blood test, P test for the uh, STD check, right? HIV results come like, in a day. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is, the this isn't this isn't technically an HIV test. It's a full-on everything, everything oh, test. His wow. verbal diagnosis was just to throw that in there right after I told him I was like a little dancer. spice. <laughs> I think it was just like a prejudice against. He just thought I was gay. Kind of no, he honestly just thought I was gay. Like a gay oh. Chippendales dancer. Yeah. He just thought he was gay. You could just tell like he's one of those guys. He just thought he was gay. So he was like, like, this guy's too gay for that's me. Super I fucked up. I spent thirty days like just in a heightened sense of anxiety. I was like when I get my diagnosis and, I'm, and I, so to make matters worse like I I was like thinking who gave it to me like, who gave oh me? Like, shit and the last person I had sex with my ex so then I like I was trying to kind of get answers out of her without saying like oh, this is my no. situation oh my god so I, like bro. trying to like tiptoe around it but still get clues it was a fucked up 30 days man god and but then god. when I finally came back in and I get the results I'm like just fucking give me the AIDS man just tell me he goes he goes, oh, so it's something called Sjogren syndrome, and it's an autoimmune where like your glands swell because it just attacks itself after eating too many like uh, gluten. Gluten? What? You're gluten sensitive? Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, so you better stay I away from the bread. I developed a gluten sensitivity that looked like, among other things, HIV symptoms. Wow. wow. I I was so. Why did he not say that first? Because he, he thought he was gay. So then I get, I he's go a fucking he's asshole. Homophobic bro. doctor. Dick. Shit, so doctor. after he tells me those results, I go in the parking lot and I instantly did the highest backflip. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you know, that guy was watching from his office like, fucking dance. <laughs> 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 
I knew it. I bet that guy used a different word because he's a scumbag. I laid down on the pavement like this, just looking up at the sun. Oh, like, that's the gayest God, dancer like, I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Sjogren's syndrome. So autoimmune disease oh. fucking flares what up. What a piece of shit, doctor. Dude, you, you have it under control now? Yeah, it's fine. I just don't. I just don't eat as much bread. Yeah. So do you, so you eat sandwiches and shit? Yeah, what happens if I, if I eat too much bread, like in a row? Like if I have a like if we get a Papa John's pizza and I go five slices. The next day, my cheeks should be sore. Uh, four so four slices of your cutoff. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> depends. If we're talking Sbarro's or Costco's, it depends. You <laughs> need to try this. You need to find what your cutoff is. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's been that way for years. Too, yeah. Because my eczema flares up after I ate a lot of sandwiches. And I was like, I'm not even eating that much, like, milk and stuff. All right, a uh, little pop quiz. How long do you guys think it takes <clears throat> with the technology that we have through NASA or any spacecraft to reach Mars from Earth. Two years, right? Yeah, I was gonna say two and a half, my honest answer. Where did okay. you guys get those numbers? Really? I just guessed. So according to NASA, uh, it takes 500 days. So yeah, you're right. Oh. Like a little so over a, a year. Little over, uh, almost two years. Over a year, under two years. But according to a to new Mars. group of Canadian engineers who have developed a new laser system, it could cut time down to 45 days. 45 uh, days? I can't believe it. What does that mean? Like they just shine a light? Please, like explain. Please and then have explain. cats drive the Joe, Joe's spaceship? gonna explain what the laser system does. Go ahead. Okay, so like, what they do is they shrink you guys to a, to a molecule. Of course. And then they shoot you in the laser and it pew! So what you're explaining is the technology that Willy Wonka used to shrink Mike TV? No, Rick Moranis. <laughs> No, it's more like the, the one that. They <laughs> well, Willy Wonka came out before. You know, Roald Dahl wrote that that book way before Honey I Shrunk the Kids. I'm not saying maybe their technologies are based on each other. Oh yeah, that's true. What do you? How do you okay, think first. the laser could make that faster? Dude, you're asking the wrong. So I don't laser ask Bart. From a Muay Thai perspective, <laughs> is it from the elbows? Forty-five <laughs> days. Use the angle. It's all. It stick just, your thumb out and just, just swipe. <laughs> just swipe. Oh shit! He's no, got the laser technology. Get there in forty-five days or else. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> I just oh pictured God. a Canadian nerd holding a fucking laser pointer and going, See? See? 45 days. Well, he's, like, <laughs> he's like, you can move. You know it moves faster than a spaceship? <laughs> the speed of light! That's the Here worst TED talk ever. You wanna know how to do it? See that? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's the TED talk? <laughs> Welcome you guys, to Mars in 45 days. Ding! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's, we just have to sit here for 45 more days. <laughs> so what I understand is this, right? Like you have Earth, you have the sun. If the Earth is going around the sun like this, then you have Mars going around the sun, but everything is going this way. So it has to be very accurately timed because you could run into asteroids, run into moons, run into everything. So the lasers probably help with... I think there's only one moon, right? Or there's, what? I don't know, other moons. Well, you said moons, but we're only going from Earth to Mars. The other planets, so I don't know. Smaller moons. Wait, there is no other planet. Is there? What do you mean? I'm, now I'm, I'm thinking in my head. <laughs> no, Mercury goes Mercury, Venus. No, no, I mean like, there's oh, no planet in between way. Earth in and the Mars. Way. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, but it's going like this, right? Well, Earth is spinning at a certain <laughs> rate. There is no other planet. There's no other planet. I was like, what other planet are we hit up on? Mars is spinning at a certain rate, and they got, so you gotta. I'm interested. I wanna make the first Pluto, now all of them. Yeah. You gotta catch them at the right, right time, and you have space debris, and you have all that bullshit. Okay. There will be a time with like, where the sun is in between the Earth and Mars. You know, so you gotta, And you can't go through that. You also gotta plan it out. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's what about gotta, all the, the black holes out there, bro? You gotta worry about that too. Why? It's underrated. Why don't people just fucking use a black hole? <laughs> I heard that hole. you could Dude. go through one black hole and go through the other oh, one. Man. You see that movie, Event Horizon? I was molested oh, back in the day. I that movie scared the shit out of me. Wait, what? what? Event, Event Horizon? Horizon? Yeah, they because this is what they do. They send a space team out to <laughs> fucking Saturn, okay? They get lost, and then they go, we need to go find them. How are we gonna find them? We're gonna go through a black hole. The black hole teleports us. It cuts the time in half, right? Oh. But what they don't realize is going through the black hole sends them straight to fucking hell. Oh. That's Event Horizon? That's Event so Horizon. That's the movie. That's so they mix Christianity Horizon. with space? <laughs> wow. <laughs> and so my dumbass being like five years old, being like, I'm gonna watch this movie. And I'm like, oh shit. At five? This is scary. I, I was allowed that. to That's watch tight. anything and everything as long as it didn't have sex. So my parents were like, oh, you gonna watch, you know, Whatever. Rambo 5? Yeah, didn't care. Terminator 2? I'm like 4. I'm like, yeah. They're like, dope. Yep. 
Love the part where he shows up naked. I'm like, yeah, that's I'm like so they're right, like, Dad. you can watch Event Horizon, just don't watch the porno based off it. No, no. Exactly. I'm actually writing it down because I want to watch that now. You made it, you sold it. It's just a 90s film. Uh, I so there's a lot of New Jack Swing? <laughs> I think Lawrence Fishburne is in it. Can you imagine that? Oh, we're in hell! <laughs> You're pretty good at dancing, man. In, in hell, this never got out of style. Is everyone wearing overalls and pinstripes? Not, nah, but with one, with one overall though. Only one overall strap. Better yeah. rising, baby. Yeah. The best movie ever. Yeah. We're in hell. Top. I'm all like, oh it's shit, all the boy, man. right. Oh Everyone's God. got their clothes on backwards. <laughs> It would be funny to do an updated version. Oh, because the reason why is every single person who was on the ship had their own version of hell. They hallucinated differently. So it was like the stuff that specifically wow. would scare them. That's yours! So, so his, that is so totally his crazy. would be that! Yours would be the new Jack Swing! We would all be standing there! Like, we'd all have like demons and people getting possessed, loved ones getting killed. And then him, it would just be like a bunch of 90s dancers like... But Ryan can't handle it. Like, and you guys are like... What are you seeing? What are you seeing? And all of us are like, I can't even say it, what bro. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't even say it. Ryan dies first and I can't, can't it. take it. <laughs> <laughs> no, not kid and play! <laughs> I can't do it anymore!